what what I want you to do is is bring up um, um, uh, Microsoft Edge. Bring bring up Edge. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I'm in the Explore Edge, and up here on the top right. You can see there's a little icon. If you just hover over it, it actually pops. It, it actually pops. But if you click on it, it, it will it will kind of open up in a you know a pane here on the left. And this again, hovering over this this icon, you can see this is called Copilot. So this is Copilot for Microsoft Edge. All right, and it I think they're still working on changing the name. It used to be called, or I guess. That's not true. It's still called Bing Chat Enterprise, but the new name that they're going with is just the Copilot for for Edge. All right. So now, now the question is, like, well, you know, what, why is this a better, why is this a better approach or a better tool? Now, the first first reason is right here. Notice how it says protected, and it says down here your personal and company data are, is protected within this chat. So, to me, that's um, that's that bonus or perk above chat gpt um is microsoft saying hey we've got your data protected we're not going to share that with anyone okay there's another thing about chat gpt there's a like a 3.5 version and that's the free one which um has some drawbacks right like it i think the data stops at 2021 and the 4.0 version that's the one that's better but it actually comes at a fee okay so that's kind of a again a drawback um but this this um copilot for for um edge it's actually built on built off of chat gpt4 so it's got that more advanced technology kind of under the hood and but you don't have to pay for it right it's it's just here um there's something else that it that it does um you can you can you can see here that you could add an image uh if you were to click on this icon right here you could add an image and ask it to tell you about that image and it would do that and then the other thing it, this has the capability to do is create an ai image so maybe we want to um uh, cr cr create me an image of a happy cartoon cat. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what we get. There's a typo in there. And so, as it's as it's generating that image, do note that there's a another program out there. There's another program out there that's created by that same open AI organization called DAL E. D A L L E. And you can go to that website and you can ask it to create images, but just like we're doing here. But that DAL E is actually embedded inside. You can see right here. It's you don't have to go to another website. It's embedded inside of here. And there is my Oh, I kind of like that one right there. Look at that one. That, that that's that's my AI generated happy cat in in seconds, and uh, that's crazy to me. So so that's uh that's another that's another feature or benefit of of using this using this uh, application. Um, but wait, there's more. So the other thing that we can do is if we if we if we're browsing the web and we want to you know like get a summary of say this article, I'm going to I'm going to go with a new topic and say generate page summary. And we're really you're really testing this with me there's a, there's and i and i challenge you i i challenge you to go play with this thing figure out what what all you we can do with it um but you can see it's basically reading that web page and providing a summary so there's that um another thing i was working on uh just earlier for real um and again this is 
maybe more how you would use it. And it's like, what are the three legs of PMI's talent triangle? And so, you know, this is, you could easily get this from a Google search, right? But it's right here. It's uh, right on the same page. It's pulling the information out and doing a good job of summarizing. So that's another way I figured out how to work with this tool. Um, so I'll stop on that. Uh, another another trick that I discovered is I can, you'll notice I'm on this YouTube channel and I can say, create a summary of this video. There you go. It's somehow going inside the video, <laughs> somehow speeding through the audio and and pulling that out, um, which is which is simply amazing to me. Um, let's see. There's um, there's another. So so there's another thing here. That's on the chat. See, that's on the chat. Well, there's a there's another option here that says compose and i swear i was playing around played around with this thing for a week or two before i even no go Rich, ahead before you go to the next one it says three of 30 responses at the bottom of your little response there what what are what are the other 30 how what does that mean i i think that's like the number of times you can enter like go back and forth with oh, it on right, the same right, topic right. Yep. Yep, yep, i yep. think that's okay, what i thought that it is. was related mm -hmm. to the summary because the summary seemed a little short okay thank you sorry no worries, no worries. Yeah, Again, no, the, uh, uh, Jolie, the summary is just short because uh, you can stop the response uh, mm. at any time. Yeah, I, that's what I did. I, I'm like, oh, it, it would have kept going. I just stopped it because, like, you can see it's going inside of there and pulling it out. Um, okay, so, again, I, I that's the chat. Um, I probably played around with this thing for a week before I noticed, oh, wait, there's a compose up here. Compose, what the heck is that? So I go to compose here and it says, check this out. It says, what do you want to write about? And what's your tone? And what's your format? You know, and so maybe we can do dig uh, the benefits of a digital EMO. Let's make it professional. Let's make it a LinkedIn post. And let's just for brevity's sake, we'll make it short. Generate draft. Wait, but wait, there's more. If I were to click on add to site, it'll actually post it in the LinkedIn post. It would actually take this and post it in a LinkedIn post if I say add to site. All right, let's uh, let me give you one more. Let me give you let me give you one more. So um, go here and I'm going to bring up word on the web, like word via the web, right? You can, you can see I'm opening it up. I normally don't work this way. I normally work off my desktop, but if we bring up a blank document on the web. OK, now I got my Word document on the web. Now I'm going to start over again. The benefits of a digital PMO professional. Let's do let's do a report and let's make it medium. Generate draft. Maybe I should have said small. If 
you just click add to site while it's still uh, generating, what happens? Well, I, I was afraid to, to to break it. Well, because what 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 will happen is it will take it's going to copy the text from here and put it in the Word document. <laughs> Add to site, bam. I there's probably more. We I was playing around. I was playing around with Planner here, and uh, at first I thought at first I thought it worked because I was on this site and I said, I I said, um, I said, tell me what I need to complete. Tell me what tasks I need to complete today, and. I, at uh, first, I thought it worked completely right, and I was like way excited. But then I got to look, and actually, it was Pradeep which who said he said, "Hey, oh wait, I think I got to tell him this. Um, using using this website tell me what tasks I need to complete today." Yeah, and anyhow, it, I thought it worked, and I got overly excited, and Pradeep's like, wait, Rich, you didn't actually answer your question <laughs> precisely. 